Nepal is a mountainous country situated in the middle of South Asia. Geographically, Nepal is divided into 14 zones. Dhankuta is a district that lies in Koshi zone which has significant religious as well as tourism resources. Dhankuta is rich in biodiversity and has balanced environment with abundant natural resources. Out of the numerous hills, one spectacular spot is the top of Dada Bazaar, which is called Dhoje Dada. Dhoje Dada is located in the south. Similarly, Mahabharat Range, which is the highest point of the region, extends to cover a large part of Dhankuta district, offering natural beauty at its best. According to legend, the Lipchas, who once lived below the hill, placed tall bamboo pillars and adorned them with multicolored cloth that made them look like flags. So the name is derived from it and has been called Dhoje Dara, Flag Hilltop. Lepchas were the ethnic people in the region. Dhoje Dara is located 29 kilometers away from Dharan. It is connected via Dharan, Bheretar, Namje, Okhre, Lumpajung by motorcycles, cars, bus or by foot for the sturdy ones. While visiting Dhoje Dara, you will come across Bheretar. Bheretar can be reached easily with a vehicle. This scenic hill is only 16 kilometers from Dharan on the Koshi Highway. On the way, you can experience pristine nature and culture in association with forest, green hills, singing sounds of streams and brooks. Similarly, birds of various species can be heard chirping melodies to welcome visitors. One amazing thing to add in its unprecedented beauty is the constantly changing weather which in a moment is covered with fog and mist. Suddenly, in no time, the weather turns crystal clear. Visitors can see green hilltops all around this place as well as Saguri Bhanjang, Dharan, Dhankota Bazaar and plains of Tarai region with spectacular sunset view at Saptakoshi River. The elevation is 1,420 meters above sea level. And most parts remain cold throughout the year. Many domestic tourists come to Bheretar during summer season to escape the heat of the Tarai. In 1983, Prince Charles of England visited Bheretar. Later, people named this place Charles Point. Now, a view tower has been built here.
Many domestic and foreign tourists are attracted to this view tower to observe beautiful surroundings. After covering a combined journey of 15 minutes drive and 10 minutes walk from Bhedetar, we reach Pathivara Bhagavati temple. If people worship in this temple, it is believed they will achieve what they desire and wish. In Bhedetar Village Development Committee, also called Village Development Committee Ward No. 6, Namaste is the place where Namaste waterfall lies. This is the center of attraction nowadays. In half an hour drive from Bhedetar to Namaste Bend, and then after 30 minutes walk upward, we reach Namaste Waterfalls. we can reach Namje village. This typical village was listed in the 8th position among 12 best destinations in the world as per the survey made by CNN in the year 2011. The main allure of this village is the beautiful and distinctive architecture most of the houses have either tin or long dry grass that is called khor in Nepali covered roof and the walls are painted with red and white locally available white and red mud called komero that makes it always eye-catching. This is an example of typical Nepali architecture. At the top of this village we can see an artistic house carved with beautiful stones which was built in place of grave. It is believed that the departed souls live in this house. Many people come to see this grave house because all are eligible to visit this attraction site. As we walk away from Namji, we see various hilltops and places such as Kanyapokhari, Dhare, Majua and Kuivir. We take brief rest at Okhre and then we are destined to observe some more artistic houses by crossing Sellung, Odare and finally Lumpajung before we reach Dana Bazaar. 13 kilometers away from Bhedetar, which is located at an elevation of 1,825 meters. Dana Bazaar is a remarkable tourist destination and also has fertile land ideal for agriculture. It is surrounded by Rajarani VDC to the eastern side, to the western side Paksib and Bhedetar VDC and to the north Puafuk. Similarly, Party Gaon and Yangsila VDC's Moring district are connected to the south. This Leuti Khola is the topmost part of Dhojedara and its bottom is the beautiful Dana Bazaar. This VDC is named after it because of its exotic beauty. In this village, Limbu, Chetri, Brahmins, Mogar, Tamang and other caste and ethnic people live. Here is also a Vishnu Chatur Bahu forehand temple and it is regarded as a historic monument.
For domestic and foreign tourists, there are almost 20 hospitality lodges, like homestay, that can accommodate approximately 150 people per night. In addition to this, there are four hotels in the area. In about 45 minutes to one hour uphill trek, we can reach the top of Dojedara. During the early spring, one can see rhododendrons in bloom, various types of orchids that make your heart leap, and fruits like Aiselu and Chutro, local berries, while ascending to the hilltop. These pleasant sights make the travel memorable. It is famous for magnificent sunrise view, not less beautiful than as other famous sightseeing points such as seen from Ilam's Ontudara or Bhaktapur's Nagarkot hilltop or Darjeeling's Tiger Hill. This hilltop is situated at the elevation of 2260 meters. Most remarkable sight is the fabulous sight of Mount Everest, top of the world. Mount Kanchanjunga, third highest peak in the world. Mount Makalu, fifth highest peak in the world. Mount Kumbakarna, Mount Chamlang and many more. Really a rare sight to witness. From here, we can see not only Dhankota's district headquarter, Tiruthum, Sankhwa Sabha, but also the views of Nepal's 16 other districts. Furthermore, solar energy's equipment, trigonometric station of Department of Measurement, equipment to measure earthquake has been established in this hilltop. Fog transformation to water collection center which is located further below in the eastern side remains of an old saint's home also next to another hilltop, picnic spot, a cave for shamans in Siddha Devi Dara and lively and colorful environment of Dara Bazaar have become major tourist attractions. A 25-minute walk downwards would lead us to Dana Bazaar, again in 25 minutes, Lapchetar village. The road that leads to this ancient village is wide and graveled. According to legend, previously it was the main settlement of Lepcha people, but later they moved to various other parts because this place was a huge plain area but it turned desert-like due to frequent landslides in the region. The name of this village, Lapchitar, was derived from ethnic Lepcha people of the time. The mythology also says that people from other parts of this region came to reside in Lapchitar after displacement of Lepcha people. One interesting thing of Lapchitar, we have heard, is that there was a very big banyan tree which covered almost 6,770 square meters of land, 23 meters round and 55 meters high. It is also believed that this tree is more than 300 years old. 
it is generally believed that Siddha Sinha Panchakanya Devi resides around this tree where birds make their nests. And if anyone tries to harm or kill these birds on the tree, that would invite disaster. We may speculate this tree may be one of the biggest of its type in Asia at present. Another significant and attractive place in this area is Kailash Dana. We can get there on foot in about half an hour from Dana Bazaar. The grandeur of this entire area comes to life when the sun sets in Saptakoshi River reflecting its crimson rays. We can see many hilltops including Dhoje Dana, layers of the Mahabharat range as well as Bheretar and district headquarter of Dhankuta from here. While visiting Dana Bazaar and Dhoje Dana, visitors should not miss visiting and enjoying the beauty of Chobise Udayan, also called Chobise Garden of Hatitar. Giddebhir, also called Eagle Cliff of Paksip Village Development Committee of Yakserungma Village. Mr. Krishna Badur Blon, former principal of Bhanu High Secondary School and now the president of Tourism Development Committee of Dana Bazaar. Dana Bazaar, Pariti ke district ne atin topek the thau ho. Yaha yo Dhunda Jila ko Dakshin Belt maa bastit jo Mahabharatiya Shrinkala chha. Tu Mahabharatiya Shrinkala mat deko sabinda aglo Dana Dhaji Dana yaha rahe kuchha. Lagok 7000 feet ko saima rahe ko Dhaji Dana ko ye uda afne chutte bishista chha. त्यहाँ बाट बिहानी को सूर्य देखो दृश्य देखी लिया रा सांझ को सूर्यास्त को दृश्य अतिन्त अनुपम देखी जा तो इसके लिए तो एक ही ठामाटे उबियेरा तेही डाना बटे उबियेरा हमी पुरमांचल का प्राय सभी विभाग रू देख सकते सों खास कर तेही तुमको सदम काम तुमको जिला को सदम काम सब का सभा को खादरी रातापलेजुं का पाथी बरा देख लिया रा बाजार का कई विभाग धामी आमर देखने देख सकूं नहीं तेज पाए एक और जिला हर कुपनी कुने कुने बाप विभाग हमी देख सक सकूं तेज केरी कंचन जंगल देख लिया रा सगरमाथा लोप से मकालू हिमस्त्रिंग खलारू हमी एक ही स्थल बाटा बिहानी को दृश्य हमी देख सक सकूं साथ ही यहाँ � बिगा और तातेरो रूपानी क्षेत्र वाल तेजस्ले ढाके को जगह ढाके कुछ आ तेजस्ले यहाँ कैलाश डाना बने छाऊं सा जहाँ बैठे सही सूर्यास्त को दृश्य और सब तकोशी मैं छे दिल का सांस पका सब तकोशी मैं काम अवस्था हूँ दापेली को अवस्था को जो दृश्य होती हो अतिन तय मनोरम दिखें छा तेजस्ले बैंडीचार � Dhankuta district has produced many poets, lyricists, literary figures, and one of them is Mr. Ganesh Nyopani. He was born in 1962 at Burimorang Salbote and later settled in Bheretar Village Development Committee Ward No. 9 in Dhankuta district. He completed his school level education at Bhanu Secondary School in Dana Bazaar. Furthermore, Mr. Nyopani has made Dhankuta district more popular by collecting and preserving two famous songs. He has created one audio and video album which is being circulated to all music lovers via national and private independent radio stations and television as well. Now he resides in Kathmandu. He is a well-known travel entrepreneur, contributing to Nepali music 
by singing, writing, collecting many melodious songs. He has written one song on the title Dhankuta Dana Bazaar. This song is composed by Ramkrishna Tripathi. In this song, renowned singers Rajay Spail Rai and Juna Prasai have given vocals. Mr. Nyopani has written another harmonious song, Soltini Kanchi. This song is composed by musician Dhanu Gyangmi Mogar and voiced by Ganesh Nyopani, Mr. Balaram Samal and Ramila Gyangmi Mogar. <laughs> Let's go and visit striking Bheditar, Dana Bazaar, Dhoje Dana and its sublime surrounding with the natural Himalayan range, hilltops, falls, streams, brooks, sunrise, sunset and enjoy nature at its best and a culture hard to find anywhere else. In doing so, you would contribute in your own modest way to sustain domestic tourism. Let's make this ancient Vedic saying true to its meaning. Atithi Devo Bhava Guest is God <laughs> 